Okay, moving on to question 11 then. Uh, question 11a asks, a bus goes from Harrow Lane to Cartbridge Street. The bus leaves at Harrow Lane at 8.02. So you then need to look at the table and find Harrow Lane at 8.02. It then asks, at what time should the bus get to Cartbridge Street? Which is this one here. The bus then arrives at 8.50. Okay, here is another bus timetable. You have to use the timetable in order to work out how many minutes the bus should take from Hamden Road to Elms Drive. So looking at the table, Hamden Road to Elms Drive, leaving at 13.29. Finding 13.29, the bus arrives at 13.43. So I would add on one minute and that will take us to 13.30. A nice number to work with and then add on 13 minutes to get to 13.43 and that is a total of 14 minutes. Part C then, so it's asking us to work out and plan Peter's journey visiting his grandmother and getting back to Harrow Lane by 4pm. So using the tables you've got from the other page we need to find out the latest bus that Peter can get on in order to get back to Harrow Lane by 4pm, which is actually this bus here. Leaving, arriving back at Harrow Lane at 15.49. Which means he would have to leave his grandmother's at Swipe Crescent at 15.16. He wants to spend three hours with his grandmother, which takes him to 12.16, what time he can arrive at his grandmother's. You then need to look at the initial table and find where he could He will have to get the 11.02 bus arrow in. Okay. Of 30 miles per hour. So he's going to travel 30 miles in one hour. And we know that he's traveled four hours. We need to work out how far he's travelled. So 1 to 4, you're going to multiply by 4. You have to do the same to the other side because it's a ratio. Therefore, he has driven 120 miles in those 4 hours. On Tuesday, Ravi drives 200 kilometres. You would have to change kilometres into miles for this to work. So setting it up as a ratio again of 5 miles to 8 kilometres. And you are given 200 kilometers. In order to get from eight to 200, you do it in reverse. So 200 divided by eight is gonna give you 25. Therefore, your multiplier is 25. Doing the same to the other side, five multiplied by 25 is gonna give you 125 miles. He therefore traveled further on Tuesday. And then I would always say by how many, just to be sure. So by five miles. Comparing the 125 to the 120 we originally worked out. Okay, moving on to question 13 then. Here are some patterns of the matchsticks. And then you need to look how many they have increased by each time. So there is an additional three matchsticks each time. So drawing the pattern, you're going to take this pattern, adding on three each time. So yours will look like so adding on those extra three. In order to complete the table then, well we can count how many matchsticks there are for pattern number four. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And in order to fill in the rest of the table, I would actually come to question C first. Finding an expression in terms of n, so you are finding the nth term. So the pattern you already know, the sequence, 4, ten, uh, 4, 7, 10 and 13 and so on. Finding the term to term rule, which is adding on three each time. Writing out your three times table. 
and then working out how do we get from the number that we are on to our original number, we need to add on one. Therefore, your nth term is 3n add one. In order to work out pattern number 10 then, you are gonna substitute that value into this expression and you end up with 31. In order to work out the pattern number, you need to do this in reverse and make your nth term equal to 76 and solve for n. So therefore, n is equal to 25. So in order to get 76, that is the 25th number in the pattern.